I wish to introduce to you a system for total laparoscopic hysterectomy that is simple, cost-efficient, and effective. In analyzing the factors that make total laparoscopic hysterectomy difficult, we have found that the main reason is the need to dissect ureters for safety during desiccation or securing of the uterine vessels. In addition, doing the colpotomy was troublesome due to loss of pneumoperitoneum and loss of control of the operation. By introducing a choreographed technique in association with enabling devices, namely the Rumi uterine manipulator, which is coupled with the colpotomizer and pneumo occluder, we have addressed the aspect of total laparoscopic hysterectomy that makes it such an arduous procedure. In fact, by employing this technique, we are now able to consistently perform total laparoscopic hysterectomies within 60 minutes in the case of the normal or slightly en enlarged uterus. The main reason why total laparoscopic hysterectomy is a difficult procedure is because of the absence of landmarks during the laparoscopic operation. This coupled with concern for the safety of the ureters has resulted in the need for ureteric dissection which prolongs the operation. Looking at this diagram of the relationship of the ureter to the uterine artery and vaginal vault, we can see that they are very close together. When the co-colpotomizer is introduced into the fornix together with the Rumi uterine manipulator and the assembly is pushed high into the abdomen, we find that there is a lengthening of the vaginal fornix and this in turn elevates the uterine artery. In effect, this distances the uterine artery from the ureter, enabling its desiccation or tying at a safe distance from the ureter. The Rumi uterine manipulator with its three tip sizes, namely 10, 8, and 6 centimeter depths, enable the mobilization of a uterus very effectively. This versatile uterine manipulator allows anti-flexion and retroflexion of the uterus and also allows several degrees of freedom where one can push in, pull out, move to the right or move to the left of uh, the uterine position. This is used for all our laparoscopic operations, not only hysterectomy and is particularly useful for endometriosis surgery and infertility surgery. What we did was to add on to this existing system attachments for simplifying total laparoscopic hysterectomy. This is the pneumo occluder which occludes the vagina to prevent gas loss. And this is inserted over the tip. It does not hamper activity in any way. Next, we use an appropriate size cup and place it over the Rumi uterine manipulator. And this whole contraption then 
is positioned into the uterus and we find the rim of the cup then distending the fornix. It is important that the person who is applying the manipulator during the surgery maintains pressure so that the fornix is always on stretch and this has the effect of dis distancing this area from the ureters that are coursing down below. Three cup sizes are available. The 2.5 centimeter diameter, 3 centimeter diameter, and 3.5 centimeters diameter. We have found that this very much covers the spectrum of cervical sizes that we encounter for total laparoscopic hysterectomy. The aim is to use a cup that is large enough to cover the whole cervix so that it will distend the vaginal fornix, but at the same time not use a cup that is too large. As we can see from this diagram, if a cup is too large, it is going to pull vagina towards the cervix and with it, it will pull up the ureter towards the fornix. And therefore, the safety uh, distance of the ureter from the uterine vessel and vaginal fornix is lessened. Hence, at all times, we use a cup that is appropriately sized but not too large. It is important also not to use a cup that is too small as it will not fit over the cervix and the advantage of the device is then lost as it will not cover the fornix to put it on stretch. Another point concerns the uterine manipulator tip. There are three sizes and if a uterus sounds to, for example, seven centimeters, we would not use the eight centimeter tip, but instead we will size down to six centimeters. It is obvious because if the tip is too long for the uterus, the end will abut against the uterine fundus and this prevents the cup from fitting into the vaginal fornix. However, a shorter tip will always allow the fornix to be put on stretch by the cup. This next diagram shows the completed assembly and demonstrates the pneumo occluder that is blown up in the vagina. We use 60 to 100 cc's of saline for this purpose. We also see the cup fitting snugly around the cervix and distending the uterine fornices. And the tip of the manipulator is in the uterine cavity and enables the uterus to be antiverted, retroverted, as well as undergo the range of movements that we have described. After the assembly has been positioned and placed in the uterus and vagina, the uterine balloon is inflated. We usually inflate it to 5 cc's of water and this allows one to 